Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is the first time you've seen me. My name's Molly and today we are doing a Halloween get ready with me. So today is Halloween. I am getting ready to go for drinks with my best friend. Um, we are dressing up. I'm very excited. Halloween is my second favourite holiday. My first being Pancake Day. So as you can imagine, I am so buzzing to get dressed up. Also, sorry about my gross background. I mean, it's my curtains and like they're pretty in real life, but they just don't, they're just not it on camera. They just don't look very nice, but so I have to work with today. So first thing I'm gonna do is curl my hair. Two hours later. Okay, so I am back after curling my hair. It will look really crazy right now because it's not dropped or anything. I feel like a year 10 on her birthday, but um, I just need to let it set for a minute. Otherwise my curls will literally just fall out because I have like dead straight hair naturally. But um, I've just pinned it back so I have my whole face free and let's get started on the makeup. I'm just gonna use a shoebox and a mirror stand. Oh, there you go, lush. So which of my positions are here? Oh, okay, so first of all, I'm gonna apply the Inky List Bakuchiol. This is just like a moisturizer, like an anti-aging, anti-wrinkle type of moisturizer. So we stand that. I have a lot of wrinkles for some reason. So I use this like every day. I do alternate it with my super drug moisturizer, but today I just went for this one. I don't know why. Next, I'm just gonna take my concealer because I have a few like pretty intense spots up on my forehead. So I'm just gonna conceal them. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Eraser concealer in light Christmas. I'm not sure why it says Christmas on it, but I always find if I have like really red spots, if I conceal them before my foundation, it's a bit easier because like my concealer is lighter than my foundation. So it all ends up looking a bit weird if I do it after. Just another little layer of coverage there. The problem with having blonde hair is that it always ends up orange by the time I finish my makeup because my makeup just turns it orange. So jealous of you brunette beauties with your hair that doesn't get covered in foundation and bronzer. Okay, so I've done that. Now I'm gonna go in with my foundation. I've recently been using the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. Um, we absolutely love this foundation, but I forgot to bring the pump. Is, has anyone else got this? And can anyone else vouch for me with the fact that the pump is so fucking annoying because they make you pay another three pounds for it. And then you can't put the lid back on while the pump is in. So like, what is the point? You have to like clean the pump then you waste loads of foundation and stuff. So annoying. Can you hear the fireworks? Why are people doing fireworks on Halloween? I thought that was a bonfire that I think. Shut up. I'm trying to film a video. How disrespectful. I'm just here trying to try to film a video. Which are my positions for you? Have you guys listened to Ari's new album yet? Isn't it amazing? We absolutely stan Ariana. She just keeps getting better and better. Always gotta do your ears, ladies and gents. You can't be having a nice bronzed face and then orange ears. That's just embarrassing. Are you not embarrassed? And always blend some foundation down onto your neck. It's actually a pretty good match for me today. Um, but usually my face is a lot darker than my neck, so I've got to blend it down. Does anyone else find that foundation really doesn't stick to like here on their face? Like I never get any coverage there and I just really don't know why. So right now, England is being briefed on the new lockdown measures, which isn't fun. But I go to uni in Wales, so I'm exempt, hopefully. Boris was meant to be on at five and it's now 6.30 and I'm not sure he's even been on yet. Like he is late. So now I'm gonna go back in with my concealer and just conceal my under eyes. What are you guys all doing for Halloween? Is anyone dressing up this year? If you are, comment down below what you're dressing up as. Oh, we'll see if anyone in the comments is dressing up as the same thing, that'll be fun. I honestly didn't even know if I was going to be able to go out this year because oh that was a sprinkly firework 
yeah because my mum actually got covid so i didn't know whether we were gonna be allowed to go out but our isolation period actually ended yesterday which was amazing well yesterday at 11 59 so like today we were allowed to go out um and that was so lucky because i was literally like like i said i love halloween so i didn't want to i don't want to miss it you know so i really left my outfit planning quite late and i did just i had a red dress and i was just gonna go as a devil but i went as a devil last year and i didn't really want to do the same thing twice in a row so um i was thinking like, i wanted to go something blonde like the whole month i've been like what's blonde i've been thinking like regina george like britney like christina but i wasn't really vibing with any of them and like the outfits were just a bit difficult to buy with like christina aguilera what is the point in buying those like hot pant trouser things you know what i mean i can't remember what they're called but what is the point of buying them to only wear them once whereas like i thought about it with sandy i bought the top shop leather trousers um, I've been wanting them for ages and I thought you know what it's an investment and I'm gonna wear them all throughout autumn winter and then I bought like a cute little bardo top like I'll wear that again I bought these gorgeous oh shit I've given it away I've given it away fuck's sake but yeah I bought these gorgeous red mules they are so stunning and i don't normally wear heels because i'm already quite tall i'm five seven so i feel quite insecure a lot of the time but um you know i i googled how tall olivia newton john is and she's five eight and she was there rocking the heels so i thought why should i be insecure when i could just not be in the words of one direction if you ever feel alone don't <laughs> Do I look super concealed? I hope I do. The bags under my eyes are just absolutely disgusting, but that's okay. We're concealing them away. So next I'm gonna set my under eyes with the Rimmel Match Perfection Loose Powder. Um, like I say in every makeup video, I don't bake with this under my eyes. I just literally take a sponge and pat it in. I saw Cariad's video the other day saying that you should use the actual like puffer sponge that it, this comes with to do it and I never thought of that like I always just throw it away um so now I'm going to take a little bit of this and just set my forehead because that does crease really easily with my wrinkle lines next I'm moving on to eyebrows I'm just gonna brush them all up and out and then fill them in honestly eyebrows stress me out so much like there is so much pressure on eyebrows like they literally make or break a face and that's just too much pressure for me to handle right i reckon that's fine yeah they're sisters not twins like they're, they're just the that's it they're they're sisters next i'm gonna take some gimme brow that my friend gave me <laughs> to gel them I just realized you wouldn't have seen any of me putting that gel on because I was holding the mirror <laughs> over my face. Oops, shit YouTuber truck. So next I'm gonna move on to eyes. Um, I'm just gonna do quite a basic eye with like brown, bronzer and a bit of eyeshadow, eyeliner, but I'll do that in a sec. So for doing this eye look, sellotape is honestly your best friend. Oh gosh, I've got half an hour. <laughs> Fair enough, I'll be late, it's fine. <laughs> so take a bit of scotch tape and stick it on your eye and now i'm gonna take my mac give me sun on my multi brush and just sweep this across the crease so obviously sandy from greece she's a natural gal you know she's from perth australia and um she doesn't wear much makeup she's a natural goddess so we're just gonna replicate that with quite a subtle eye look and now i'm gonna take this angled really small like compact brush and take the darkest um brown color in the chocolate bar palette and just run this along my lash line and then out and run this fluffy brush along it just to smudge it out a bit and voila 
lovely stuff. Now to do it on the other eye. much. Now I'm just going to take the two lighter colours in this palette and run it under my lash line. Next I'm going to curl my eyelashes and then put some mascara on them. I never think time to try and rub a spotlight. Next I am going to bake the side of my cheekbones so I'm really going to sculpt out my cheekbones ready for when I put bronzer on. While that sits on my face, I'm gonna put some lashes on. The lashes I always use are these ones. They're literally from Amazon. They're like eight pounds for a pack of 10. They're honestly amazing. And they say, you are so beautiful on the front. And if that isn't the support I need, I don't know what is. If I don't know what it is, I'm literally fine the whole time doing my makeup. And as soon as it comes to like dealing with lashes, my hands are like, like stop, just be stable for a second. So I just use the little Ilia eyelash glues. Like I just have so many lying around that I just hope that I've got one somewhere and just use that. And while I'm waiting for that to dry, it should be about 30 seconds, I'm just gonna do one cheek of contour. Look at that difference. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and do the second one. And while it dries, I'm gonna do my second cheek of contour. Now I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush and just brush off the bake. And now I'm gonna stick this lash on. Do they match? I sure hope so. So now I'm just gonna put some bronzer on my forehead, just to even everything out. Next, I'm gonna pop on some inner corner highlight. This is the Becca Moonstone. Next, I'm gonna take a fluffy Morphe brush and stick on some highlight. This is MAC Double Gleam. And after that, I'm gonna take the same fluffy brush and just put on a little bit of blush. So next, I'm gonna spray my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Now I'm gonna use my Kiko lip liner and overlay my lips a bit. And then I'm gonna take the literal scraps of my Fenty lip gloss. There's literally nothing left. I've got nothing left, Phil. 